Hi there, welcome to another video. My name is Laura and today I'm doing a position review from some videos that someone sent in. So let's get started. Welcome to Equestrian Skill Builders. If you'd like to improve your riding and training, win more ribbons at your next horse show, or generally like other horse related stuff, then you're in the right place because we're going to share some information with you that I know will help you with your riding. Thank you so much to Ron who sent in a video for me to look at, actually two videos. And if you're serious about your riding and want to have your own position reviewed, send me an email, thistleridge at hotmail.com. Okay, let's start about your position now. I want to point out this is the really important thing that I love about this rider. I love her elbows. Just look at this approach here. You can see that uh, she's in balance. She's in balance with her horse. She's not interfering with the horse whatsoever. And when she comes to her first jump here, look how her elbows are opening and closing as the horse is moving and this means that her hands are perfectly still and this is great really love that a lot and love that she is riding the horse forward and her elbows are opening and closing and this means her hands are still and that's what the horse needs Love this lower leg position. Love that you're in balance with your horse. You've got a lovely straight line. I'm saying lovely a lot because it's lovely and everybody loves lovely. This part looks like your leg is swinging. You've got your seat in the saddle and you're pushing your horse forward with your seat and with your calves, which means that your leg is swinging and that your knees are way off off the saddle and this is the key here that I want to share with you is that if you think of pushing your kneecap down to the ground that will help get your lower leg down and around the horse right now your kneecap is pointing forward almost semi chair seat so think of having your kneecap pointing down on the ground now here's an exercise and here's a little video that i where i explain it and you can see it right here rather than having your kneecap pointing forward have your kneecap pointed down to the ground so that your whole leg stretches down and around the horse with the inside part of your calf against the horse's side if you look closely at your riding position you can see that it's the back of your calf that is on the horse's side and you want to have the inside part of your leg against the horse's side. The other thing that's lacking here is that your lower leg has no weight. Your heels aren't down. If you're going in an equitation class, that's one of the very first fundamental things that the judge will want to see is that your heels are down. Keep the weight down in your heels. You have to let the weight come down from your seat, around your legs, down into your stirrups and into your heels with the lower leg on on the inside part of your calves right here you can see that then your knee is off the saddle and you're pushing with your seat which is good if you think that your horse may stop but it means that your thigh is totally off the saddle and you're gripping up with your legs and that means that you're there's no weight coming into your heels and you can see this because your heels are up and because of this because you're sitting in the saddle you have a tendency to duck over top of the fences. So you approach and then you slam your upper body down on the horse's withers. Try to keep still, try not to get too ahead of the horse with your upper body, just stay still and think of the horse coming up to meet you rather than you bringing your body down to meet the horse. Here's some exercises that this rider can do immediately. And that is the 30 second exercise that you can do like right now, that's going to get your lower leg down and around. Is drop your stirrups. Think of pointing your kneecap towards the ground. That will help open up your hip and get your lower leg down and around the horse. Rather than getting in that chair seat with your kneecap pointing straight forward, think of pointing your kneecap down to the ground and get your lower leg down and around the horse. That's really important. That's the whole key to it. Other exercises you can do are off the horse even start developing your core and strengthening your core muscles that means sit up plank those types of things but again two-point position ride in your two-point position don't be afraid to do it out over poles or what i like to call a half seat if you're serious about improving your riding take a look at this playlist right here I've got some excellent exercises that you can do to help improve your riding thanks now bye